Hey, welcome to our channel. How are you doing? Autumn has fallen and winter is coming in this strange year of 2020. This is the time of the year in which we stay home with our families, preparing some hot chocolate and start making a list of new good intentions for the new upcoming year. We hope you're well and safe in your houses. Do you like staying at home? If you take a look at the objects in your house, you will find out that a lot of them are high-tech objects. Think about smart TVs, smartphones, LED lights, precision coffee makers. There is a technology even in your wardrobe. Try to take a look. Have you ever thought about how much technology is going on at your house? What if we told you that a lot of the objects you see and use every day were developed with the help of NASA? NASA technologies benefit life on Earth in the form of commercial products that become daily objects. Follow us on this journey in a typical 21st century house. You will find out there's more space in your life than you think. Oh, they came. I'm coming. Welcome to a typical 21st century home. Come in, don't be shy. Make yourself at home and take a seat on the couch in our living room. We've just bought a new TV that makes use of new technology. I don't know exactly what's different, but they told us so. So, high definition screens are getting better and better, but even a tiny blemish in the manufacturing process can become glaringly obvious to viewers over time. Software that includes tools built by NASA to help robots better discern contrast helps manufacturers consistently and accurately identify spots in their screens that aren't lighting up the right amount or aren't hitting the color marks accurately to ensure high-definition displays deliver high quality in every pixel. Oh yes, I told you that they told us. <laughs> and as you can hear, it sounds so clear. I guess it's because we make use of a magnetic fluid speaker system. Well, I could explain how they work. I've read it on the NASA website. Ferrofluids, or fluids imbued with magnetically charged particles, were first deployed by NASA for use in rocket fuel. Today, they find applications ranging from art and displays to high-end speaker systems. The fluid makes speakers more energy efficient and helps them achieve a louder, cleaner sound for their size. My kids love it. You know, one of them wants to become a music producer and the other one is a guitar player. Look, we have an acoustic guitar just next to the couch. You know, not all acoustic guitars are created equal. And one that has impressed the likes of Paul McCartney, which is my favorite artist, Carly Simon, Melissa Etheridge, and Glenn Campbell, relies on NASA aerospace technology. An industrious helicopter manufacturer used special vibration analysis equipment to enhance the sound of acoustic guitars. He also built the body out of a fiberglass composite used for rotor blades. The resulting instruments are stronger and less expensive to produce than those of traditional rosewood and produce a rich, full sound. My kids usually spend time together playing music, and sometimes they end up with some very good melodies. They arrange their stuff and put it on a cloud platform to keep their drafts. Now, I'm not a pro, but they told me that we should thank NASA for that. An early and important breakthrough in cloud-based computing known as OpenStack originated at NASA. Software developers partnered with industry to portion out storage and computing power on an as-needed basis. Now it is the most used open-source cloud computing platform, used to manage data at many of the world's most recognizable commercial brands and research organizations. Do you want something to drink? I should have something for you in the fridge. Hurry up, come with me. Oh, and take a look at those plants before we get into the kitchen. An environmental scientist funded by NASA studied plants' abilities to purify air and water. He found that this ability was greatly increased the more air or water was brought in contrast with plants' roots. Since he published a book of his findings, including which plants removed the most toxins, several companies have used the research, often with the author's help, to create indoor planters and gardens to eliminate the pollutants that cause sick building syndrome. Okay, whatever, I'm sorry. I'm just a little chatty, you know me. Would you like some coffee? We have Arabica, Robusta, Liberica, and Excelsa coffee beans. Did you know that using the expertise he gained as a NASA intern, an engineer joined a startup company making one of the world's most advanced coffee makers, 
The device draws on recipes stored online to brew coffee beans with unprecedented precision in pressure and temperature control. And all of this is mind-blowing, isn't it? And look at that water bottle my wife bought. You just have to fill the bottle's base with water from any source, such as lakes and streams, and squeeze it through the passive filtration medium. Such a water bottle is fitted with NASA-developed filters and can purify water on the go. Oh, sorry for the countertop garden that is on the table. I'm making room for you. Please take a seat while I make your Arabica coffee. Actually use that countertop garden to grow some tomatoes. It's like a portable garden capable of growing tomatoes. For the growing, we use water, plant food, and LED lighting. This is a technology that comes directly from the study of growing plants in space. By the way, I really like the tennis shoes you're wearing. You do like running, don't you? I've heard that the high-speed stereo photogrammetry one company altered to help NASA study recreations of the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster was picked up and used by a major shoe manufacturer to design a high-performance shoe. Engineers used the system to analyze the behavior of Olympic marathoners' feet as they hit the ground and make design and material alterations according to what they observed. Now that you're done with your coffee, I want to show you my kid's bedroom. I'm pretty sure you will be amazed by how many high-tech objects you will find in it. For example, if you take a look in their wardrobe, you can find phase-changing wearing. In fact, ordinary clothing tends to trap heat and sweat during intense activity in the cold. Using a technology developed for spacesuits, NASA worked with the apparel industry to create new phase change materials that enhance comfort by moderating temperatures between the body and the environment. Phase change fabrics can also be found in bedding, baby blankets, and more. And look at this memory foam bed, invented during a NASA research project to increase the comfort and safety of commercial airline vehicle seats. Temper foam, also known as memory foam, now appears in consumer products ranging from mattresses and pillows to hospital beds, footwear, prosthetics, and more. And if you take the shades down, I can show you how LED light bulbs can help regulate my kids' sleep cycles. This LED lighting system can change its light color. I've read on NASA's website that several scientists and engineers who had worked on LED lighting systems for NASA both for growing plants and for providing astronauts with light on the space station, moved to a company that now markets lighting both for indoor agriculture and to help regulate users' sleep cycles. The space station has a lighting module that varies its wavelengths to stabilize astronauts' sleep cycles, and now customers have access to this technology. Do you need to use the washroom? I told you, make yourself at home. But before you go and do whatever you have to do, Please note that we often think of air pollution as an outdoor problem, but the air inside our homes can actually be even more contaminated with bacteria, volatile organic compounds, and other pollutants. NASA research first designed to help plants thrive in space turned out to work extremely well at ridding air of all kinds of toxins and has been adapted into plug-in filters that keep the air you breathe cleaner and healthier. And in my bathroom, I make use of one of those air purifiers. Also, sometimes it happens that I feel sick because it's winter here and it's getting a little cold. So I used to measure my temperature with a special thermometer, an infrared ear thermometer. Astronomy technology once used to measure the temperature of distant stars and planets now measures the temperature of humans with a high-speed medical thermometer. The handheld device based on NASA-developed infrared technology measures energy emitted from the eardrum to record temperature without contacting any mucous membranes. Okay, go. I don't want to bother you anymore. You can use the washroom now. Okay, now that you are in the bathroom alone, you can admit that our house owner is quite too chatty. Be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can continue to improve and make these videos better for you, the viewer. Finding more introvert house owners. Plus, be sure to subscribe to the channel, clicking the bell so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. Look at the skin cream that's on the sink. Using a NASA patented bioreactor, one company uses agents from human fibroblasts, cells that produce collagen, to enrich its skin cream products. Lab tests have shown the rejuvenating cream to increase skin moisture content by 76% and reduce darkness and wrinkles by more than 
Also, since you have long hair, you may use our styling tools. A major beauty product company has incorporated several NASA technologies into its products. Metallic ceramic nanoparticles NASA developed are used in hair irons, brushes, and hair dryers to release negative ions that make hair easier to style. Nanosilver particles NASA experimented with as passive sterilizing agents help the company create tools with self-disinfecting surfaces. And the company uses LED devices developed by NASA to stimulate scalp healing and growth in dormant hair follicles. Sorry, you know I'm a little bit chatty. Okay, time with you always flies quickly. I know you have to go, but before going, I wanted to show you our solar panels on the roof. We use renewable energy to power our home devices. Over the decades, NASA has contributed many advances to solar energy technology, from coatings that improve solar panel performance to flexible solar cells. Space technology is helping us make better use of the sun as a clean source of abundant energy. Okay, I'm really sorry you're leaving. I really like spending time with you, and I hope it's the same for you. Goodbye, take care of yourself. I hope I'll see you in the city around Christmas. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Did you know that all of those daily objects were developed with the help of NASA? Do you think science has an important impact on your daily life? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.